Hi guys, so uh, last training we learned how to put Linux working on the Z board. We also learned uh, how to make a simple app, a uh, Hello World application that is included in the rootfs. And uh, then what we need to, to learn is how to have a custom hardware, okay, in the DPL part, working in the Linux through a device driver, okay? Uh, yes, we're going to learn how to create device drivers in this course as well. But before that, we're going to create a simple hardware that is going to be uh, included in our PL part, okay? Uh, it's just going to be a simple IP core that is going to make some subtraction, division, a simple ELU, okay? Uh, but this, uh, this IP core will be memory mapping, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to create a basic hardware that, that is going to be later available in the course for us to know how to create a device driver, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to jump now to the lab, now, sorry, to the board to explain, explain a little bit what, what this is going to, to be. And then we go to the to the lab to create it. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, it, give me a thumbs up and let's start. Okay, guys. So basically, what we're going to see today. Okay. Uh, before we create, uh, actually, before we start to create device drivers, we need to create a device. Okay. And this device will be this guy here. Okay. Let's call it simple ALU. Okay. Uh, it's just a very, very simple memory mapped IP core. When I say memory mapped, what it means? It means that it has an axial-like interface, okay, where you can send and receive data through pointers, okay, from your uh, from your zinc. So, what it means? The simple uh, ALU will be mapped at this address here, okay, and uh, this guy is going to have three parameters. Okay, one that is the parameter A, second B, the third, the, the operation that you can choose between sum, subtraction, multiplication, or division, and you're going to have a result. Okay, actually there is another one that is the control, where you're going to use to start and check if the calculation is done or not. Okay, again, the idea is that before we, create, we start to learn how to create the device drivers, we're going to learn create a device, and then a simple one, and then we're going to learn how to create a device driver in Linux to control this guy here, okay? So now we're going to the lab where I'm going to show how to create this guy. We're going to use again Vivaldo HLS and then create a simple uh, bare metal driver that later is going to be used as a, as a reference for our device driver, okay? Okay, guys, so this is the our simple core, okay? We're ju just going to implement uh, some arithmetic operations, okay, based on uh, on some parameters, okay, all those parameters are going to come as an axilite, which means they are going to be memory mapped, or that they are going to have a valid address in our CPU, okay, and uh, this is just a test bench, okay, uh, let's synthesize, and uh, as I show, it's quite simple, it's just it's just an IP core that we need that is going to have some memory mapped elements and an interrupt, okay? And uh, the idea is to show how to create a Linux driver for it, okay? Uh, let's just run the run the, the test bench just to verify if everything is okay. And uh, we're going to export this to Vivado and uh, and going to create a bit stream and then bring all this to Peta Linux, okay? Okay, guys, before we continue, uh, let's just analyze a little bit the co simulation of this IP core, okay? So, uh, here we can see that at this line here, we put at the uh, register 10 the value 2, at the register 18 the value 3, and at the register 20 the value 0. Okay, this is the uh, our parameter A, B, and operation. Okay, so basically we put on A2, on B3, we ask the operation of, of sum, okay, and after some cycles, we have here the result. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Okay, here we put on A7, on B5, and we choose the the subtraction operation 
ok? So, 7 minus, uh, minus 5, ok? After some, uh, some cycles, is 2, ok? By the way, our, our result, the, the C parameter, ok? Is 28, ok? And there it goes, if you put 10 and 2, ok? After some, and we choose the operation uh, multiplication, yeah, yes, multiplication, yes. We have here at some time, uh, at some cycles, the the twenty as a result, okay. And uh, if we divide uh, fifty divided by five, at some at some point, you have here the result, okay, ten. And uh, well, this is th this actually helps to visualize the uh, the addressing and how the uh, this IP core works. Okay, so now let's jump to Vivado and uh, create this uh, uh, use this IP on Vivado, and we're going to then export a bit stream to use on Peta Linux. Okay, guys. So uh, this is a very very simple example in Vivado. Okay, uh, it's just actually to learn how to create uh, a custom hardware okay that is going to be used later with peta linux and uh, as we are going to learn how to create a driver a device driver for an ip core here is in our case our simple alu okay you just have uh, this address here okay so means that all the registers related to this guy here to this ip core is going to be placed is going to be started here okay as we are going to use linux we cannot access this guy directly because it's on the physical memory and we're going to learn how to create a device driver that is actually going to uh to use this address okay basically the design is just a zinc okay that uh, i just run this, uh the uh, the connection automation okay there is nothing special there is no uh different configuration is really just what you get when you just put zinc in the in your in your diagram here okay so uh just so you are uh, an ethernet and the and the triple timer controller is enough to have the the linux working on okay uh what else uh something that is really important is to export this hardware because later we're going to see that we're going to use peta linux to import the this information okay in order to to create a device tree let now let's just launch the sdk and i will show you the source code it's quite simple so guys now regarding the code uh at least in the zinc part it's quite simple as well okay by the way this is going to work just in bare metal mode uh, we are simply not able to run this code if we are running through linux because we simply don't have access to the physical memory okay and uh let's just have a look inside these functions here for instance the lookup config actually is defined here on the bsp if i will remember yes uh, if you go to libsource actually are uh, the driver by the way generated by vivado hls is here <coughs> so uh you guys can see that all the time that uh that we ask for instance start is idle is ready okay we actually use these functions here which actually is not a function is the is a define okay that is just going to read a base address and an offset okay and if we go here in this dot h we can see actually here hardware dot h we can see the offsets okay of our of our reg registers okay in this case the a b c and operation okay so uh let's just go back to the code as usual we're going to initialize our ip later if, when we're going to write the drivers we need actually to look uh, which uh, which address exactly in memory we are dealing with and uh, here we just set 
the parameters A and B, we set the operation and we start and we verify if the operation has not has not been uh, is finished. Okay. Uh, let just compile this and put on the uh, on the board and we can see the result. Ah, guys, just one detail that I forgot. Uh, here, the the function that I used to get the result in C was get C valid, but uh, actually just get C. I just forgot that. Okay, so let's run the the example and see how it works in the in the Z board. Okay, cool. They they match on what we simulated and uh, this is really what was expected. Uh, maybe now, uh, as I said, when we are going to create a Linux driver, we cannot use directly the the address on from memory. We actually need to do something that uh, is called map. We need to map a physical address in the virtual memory. Okay, so uh, to help it. To help it more, let's change this code here that instead we use uh, those functions here that, uh, for instance, do lookup config, we initialize a configuration, then we set A, B, and C. Let's do this like uh, directly doing on memory, okay? Um, maybe I'll just create here the a breaking point just to show you guys something. So, for instance, that's for this function that actually create uh, a config. Okay, when we do lookup config, we actually don't pass the the physical address, but this ID that is actually configured in a file called X parameters. If you come here, okay, and actually this function here, if I do a step uh, a step over, is going to really set the the base address okay let me just check if i can change the the format of this guy to okay so basically this is our base address and we can actually just create a pointer that points to this address and <laughs> i mean we have the same effect and uh as we know already the offset of uh of of every one of these registers that Vivado HLS create for us is actually here. We can I mean put a value in A, in B, and in C and choose an operation by hand and uh and make it execute. Okay? So let me just stop this and I will change it and I'll present you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so the first difference that we did that <laughs> that I uh that I changed now is the base address I just put this guy here and uh, by the way this is exactly the same of our if you go here to the address editor okay is this address here um, if we open this guy you can see that the displacement related to the base address for the C register is 28x okay so I just sum this plus 28 we got this okay uh, another change is that instead of calling this lookup config I put I create the the x simple elu config and I add the base address directly here okay and uh, then we can use it as we use these drivers before, okay, uh, will be completely optional if you want to access the reg C through the the Vivado HLS driver generated function or directly through a pointer, okay? They will basically be the same. If we run the program again, you see, you can see that the results are still valid. Okay, so basically this will be some of the changes that we're going to do uh, when we're going to create a device driver. We're going to ask the Linux to give us the physical address, uh, this guy here, basically, 
okay and uh, or we can use pointers directly or use the this function with this slightly modification okay okay guys now a much much cleaner way okay and this is just using the pointers I mean if you look here in the code there is no call to these uh, uh, generated bare metal drivers from Vivado HLS okay which is basically this we just have all the our register our IP register pointers okay so the address of uh, register A the address of register B the, the address of the register operation okay and basically what we do we just uh, write the data at that specified address for instance we put a on hack a we put the value of b in hack b okay then we call it start and wait while it's done okay by the way guys this uh, this way to start the ip core or wait for it's done is just specifically uh, from vivado hls okay if you do your own ip core you really don't need to uh, I, I mean sometimes your IP core does not even have this interface to start and wait for it's done okay this is really specific from Vivado HLS if you do something for yourself a custom one maybe you don't even have this you just set the operations and uh, and you put the inputs and you have the result some cycles later okay but basically that's it okay uh, if we execute this guy here We're going to see that the results will be exactly the same. 2 plus 3, 5, 7 minus 5, 2, 10 multiplied by 220. Uh, 50 multi uh, divided by 5. This there are some things wrong. For sure. Uh, what is wrong here? Let me check. Ah, sorry, the operation is wrong. Okay, so let's execute it again. Cool. Now, 50 divided by 5 is 10. So, basically, this is the code that we're going to use inside our, inside our driver, okay? Uh, we just need to get the base address, okay? And all the rest is going to be some uh, some offset from that uh, from that address okay and basically we need to write our driver to give a, a good interface a good way to access this f uh, as a file or CFS and this is up to you okay uh, see you guys soon hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you in the next class